Good morning on this rainy Monday morning um, and your first day of online learning. Uh, I think that this is the best chapter for that. Um, so welcome to Wayside School underneath or beneath the cloud of doom, chapter 11, my favorite chapter. Um, see if you can figure out what my favorite quote is from this one, but it's called, what's the point? So you may be asking yourself, why am I doing all this work? What's the point? Um, and Mrs. Jules answers that question in this chapter. It's called, what's the point? Chapter 11 as a chalkboard. It says pistachios grumple a 19,457. Because remember they're keeping track of how many toenails. Yeah. Anyways, in some classrooms, teacher ch teachers choose the weekly spelling words. Not so in Mrs. Jules's class. She lets her students pick. Nearly everyone had a hand raised. Mrs. Jules called on Rondi. Pistachios, said Rondi. That is why the other teachers don't let their students choose the word. Mrs. Jules couldn't spell <laughs> pistachios. So she did what every teacher everywhere does in such situations. That's an excellent word, Rondi, she said. Would you like to come up and write it on the board? I don't know what she's talking about. I've never done that. Rondi came to the front of the room. Mrs. Jules paid close attention as Rondi wrote pistachios on the blackboard. I love pistachios, said Kathy when Rondi returned to her seat. Me too, said Allison. They're my third favorite nut. I wonder what her first two were. Hmm. Mrs. Jules called on DJ. Grumple, he said. I don't think grumple is a word, Mrs. Jules pointed out. So, asked DJ. We should still know how to spell it. It might become a word someday, Kathy agreed. Mrs. Jules wrote grumple under pistachios. Joy raised her hand. A, she suggested. A what, asked Mrs. Jules. Just A, said Joy. Don't you think that's a little too easy, said Mrs. Jules. It's a very common word, said Kathy. It's important that we all know how to spell it. Mrs. Jules couldn't argue with that. She added A to the list. Myron had his hand raised. Yes, Myron, said Mrs. Jules. What's the point? Myron asked. That's three words, said Mrs. Jules. And all good ones too, chirped Kathy. The cloud of doom is getting bigger and bigger every day, Myron exclaimed. What does it matter if we can spell? So we can read and write, Mrs. Jules replied. What's the point of reading? asked Leslie. What's the point of writing? asked John. What's the point of arithmetic? asked Ben. There is no point, Myron grumbled. He slammed his pencil down hard on his desk. The point broke off of it. I understand you are scared and upset, said Mrs. Jules. But what's the point of quitting? We can all just sit around and grumble or we can try to do our best, cloud or no cloud. And it hasn't been all bad, Mrs. Jules continued. We've been getting a whole lot more nail clippings. That was true. Ever since the cloud of doom appeared, everyone's fingernails and toenails had been growing a lot faster. They had to be clipped three or four times a week. The number on the board was now 19,457. Someday the cloud of doom will be gone, said Mrs. Jules, and the world will be a much better place, even better than the cloud before the cloud. Cloud colors will be more colorful. Music will be more musical. Even Mrs. Mush's food will taste good. The bigger the storm, the brighter the rainbow. At the moment, a crack of thunder shook the classroom and then the lights went out. The children screamed. They weren't scared. They just liked screaming in the dark. Mrs. Jules lit a candle and everyone settled down. Now shall we continue with our spelling? Jenny raised her hand and suggested hope. Excellent word, said Mrs. Jules. She held her candle in one hand and the chalk in the other. She said the letters out loud as she wrote them on the blackboard. H-O-P-E. So that is my favorite chapter in Wayside School, Beneath the Cloud of Doom. Um, I'm hoping you can realize why. Uh, we're all kind of stuck inside, um, but she is finding the positivity and the light in a dark and dreary kind of situation. Um, so what's the point in doing all this? What's the point in quitting, right? And I really like the part where it says, the bigger the, the storm, the brighter the rainbow, because we're kind of in a physical storm of 
the weather right now with the rain and then kind of a bigger storm of this virus and keeping us inside. So hopefully you can find the light and the hope. Have a good day.